Oh, I think. Uh, no, we on Taurus. Okay. Hello, Taurus. It's Milady, and this is Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading in the week of hmm, February fourth. No, February twenty sixth through March fourth, two thousand twenty four. The cards I'm using today are, dang it, Fairy Lenormand Oracle Cards by Marcus Katz and Tally Goodwin. And I'm closing off with Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifiroth and Jamie Elford. Hopefully I said that right, respectfully. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribe, and setting up personal readings, commenting, and hitting that notification bell. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on with the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? all right oh, okay so we got card number 24 here so i do feel like love is in the air some kind of relationship some kind of union some kind of coming together i definitely feel strong energy here very heartwarming okay very heartwarming energy all right so we got card number 21 here mountain obstacles diversion so i do feel like there is getting ready to be a lot going on here um but i do feel like Everything is going to be all right, okay? But got obstacles on the way, okay? Obstacles coming. Mm. So we got card number 26 here. So I do feel like, of course, there are some secrets. And I do feel like these secrets, um, I feel like they're getting ready to come out. Most of the time when I see the secret, it's coming out, okay? Oh, goodness. All right. All right, so I do feel like somebody's doing some kind of movement, moving, some kind of travel. Uh, so we got the Ten of Spades here. So I do feel like some kind of deception was going on here. But I do feel like some kind of changing or turning point is happening, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm, I heard protector, okay? So somebody needs a protector, but the love card came up. So maybe somebody needs a protector from uh, a love or somebody needs a lover needs to protect their lover i don't know um but this makes me feel like somebody may be getting ready to move somewhere and i do feel like it might be because of a relationship okay let's keep going mm -hmm. oh yes so we got the happiness card here so i do feel like somebody moving on moving away moving onward and upward for happiness okay somebody searching for their happiness they're going to get it okay yes all right oh so we got card number 33 here um so i do feel like some new positions new situations new um relationships are opening but i also feel like some are closing as well. So new beginnings, new endings happening. Okay. Mm. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's been working really hard on this. I feel like both sides, two people have been working really hard on this. Okay. Endings. Okay. Somebody's clearing out um, negative things, negative situations, things that are just not serving. Somebody's getting ready to uh, dismiss of those things. Okay yes all right let's see what's going on here for the taurus what's going on with the taurus what's going oh they're upside down what's going on with the taurus what's going on what's going on what's going on taurus taurus taurus
All right, so we have the Queen of Cups here. So I do feel like somebody's very caring and nurturing and there for everybody. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, look like somebody's very caring. A possible pregnancy there too. Um, so we got the three of swords here. So I do feel like some kind of heartache, heartbreak, sadness, um, some kind of se separation. This is going to go back to the travel here. So I do feel like somebody is not happy about this traveling. Um, but I feel like I got to do what's best for me. But do what's best for my household. Okay. Got to do what's best for us. Oh, yep. So we got the 10 of cups here so somebody is definitely doing what's best for their family doing what's best for their happiness here okay i gotta make me happy whatever makes me happy whatever makes my family happy that's what i gotta do oh okay so we got the three cups here um i do feel like somebody gotta separate and and go home and and try to be happy but i feel like it might be I don't know. It's going to be a celebration, but I feel like it's going to be a third party situation here. Okay. So it's like, I feel like I'm going through something outside, but I feel like I'm going through something at home too, but I feel like I'm leaving something so I can fix my home. But I feel like at home, there is love there, but I feel like there's third party situations going on. And I feel like, I don't know why it's showing me the two of pentacles. I feel like I got to fix the family situation or fix the work situation but i feel like if i fix the work situation it fix the family situation um could be work it could be out outside family and romantic family okay but definitely here just reading these cards some kind of heartbreak separation disconnection third party situation i do feel like somebody may be getting left for a third party if they can't get this situation together i do feel like all i want is that happiness happy ending but i do feel like there's a third party involved here okay all right so we got the empress it's a new start new beginning possible pregnancy here um i do feel like I'm starting, I'm starting over, okay? I do feel like a lot of adventure is getting ready to happen. I feel like I am working toward or for my happiness. But I do feel like there's a lot of stuff starting and ending here. And I do feel like, oh goodness, I feel like there's going to be some some heartbreaking situations going on and i do feel like it all stemmed from work okay and if it's not stemming from work i feel like i feel like i'm i'm blaming it on work okay and if it ain't from home i feel like i'm blaming it on home so i'm blaming one thing or another but i feel like i'm separating to try to fix one thing at a time okay but other than that that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs Thanks for watching.